Hey guys, it's Rob. I'm back at you one more again. I hope you are doing blessed and highly favored. I am and hope the same thing for you. And if this is your first time coming to my channel, welcome, namaste, and love and light to you. And many blessings are yet to come. And thank you for the support. And if you can, if you have not already, just like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell when you know I'm about to upload my next video. And if you feel like you resonate with my video and enjoyed what you have saw, please go ahead and drop me a few lines or even give me a big thumbs up. I love the positive feedback. And if you are a returning sub, as always, thank you for the love and support. Namaste and love and light and many blessings are yet to come for you. And thank you for the support. Today, my video is about Twin Flame 101. When you look negativity in the space and say, bye, Felicia. You know, we are going through so many different things. You, I mean, you can have that one person that, you know, it, it can be taking too long and sit up here and be, you know, not even going to speed limit. Or somebody will jump in front of your car, you know, just, just jump in front of you at you know, at the grocery store or something like that. Just bogart you or whatever. Or you could be in Walmart's line. You know, they only got three lines open. They got about 300 people walking around. And you don't probably learn about three or four different languages. And probably know everything about the person that's standing behind you about his whole life story for the last 15 years. <laughs> that can bring on negative energy. You could have one of those bosses that's a really pain in the eye. That can bring on some negativity. You can have, you know... A car, your car break down, and you got that already got five bills already due, and you trying to figure out how you're gonna be able to pay these bills and go get your car fixed at the same time. That can bring on negativity. Anything that is thrown up on at us, it, it will bring on some negativity. You, you trying to figure out how you gonna pay this bill or this bill, you know. And there's something that's always popping up. There's always something that's popping up, and it's just like we gotta look negativity in face and just know. Bye. <laughs> you are not going to allow this to steal your joy. Do not let negativity because it's, it's just bad. It will mess up a whole day if you let it. Like today, you know, it's just like I can do my videos and it just takes so much energy out of me. But it's a good tire, you know, because I knew I've done something good out of that situation, even though it can really drain you. It's just like I'm going to tell you about some things that, you know, that can help you protect yourself from you know ne negative energy and negative you know vibes and stuff like that like today um if you if you take baths you can use uh lavender and sea salt or just regular salt you know they said sea salt is actually better um today i did like a, a salt scrub and it, it felt like you know exfoliating you know it felt really good because it's like i have extremely dry skin so i have dry patches in certain places so i can use a lot of baby oil but it's just like it made my skin so soft and i'm like ooh, you know i feel so good and it rejuvenates you so it's just like with you being an empath or an indigo and stuff like that or you don't even have to be one of those special spiritual you know aspects whatever you want to call it you don't have to be like that you can just be just in tune with everybody and you may not even know you might could be an empath and trying to figure out why do you know i can be around certain people or i can you know i can go out in certain crowds and i feel so drained when i come back home or you could be dealing with stuff at home and it's just like you can put salt in different corners and you know uh from what i heard well actually it does work because i've i've done it so it's not from what i heard i actually heard it and then i've done it and i felt a big change like i wasn't really aggravated and this is you can just deal with you can even have some you know negative family members that you know you can soak up their energy from them and it's just like when we're out doing our daily things you don't realize how many energies and frequencies you are combining with yours and bringing them home and that's not a good thing so it's just like if you you feel like there's times that you feel drained and everything um what good thing it actually worked for me um using sea salt and uh vinegar and then placing it in a bowl with water in it and it's absorbing all that negative energy around you just helping for you and your home and you can put those in different corners of your house and even like if you have rugs or anything in your house because like mine is like hardwood floors or area rugs so it's just like i went ahead and sprinkled salt you know on my rug and let it sit there for an hour and then you come back and vacuum it up 
And then, you know, if you even having problems with your sleeping and you can have insomnia and stuff like that, put a put a plate of salt up under your bed and that soaks up the energy um, around you. Or you could be one of those type of people that you have a job that you have to travel a lot and it could be hard for you to go to sleep. They say if you go ahead and put water and sea salt or even salt, but be sea salt would be a lot better. If you go to foreign, 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 foreign places, like places you've never been before and it's kind of hard for you to get to sleep, that helps with insomnia. So it soaks up all the negative energy because you could be, it not could, it can even be you because it's you, just a thing that you don't know who was there before you and they could have left their energy in there and you're absorbing it. So it's like when you go to different places like that, always make sure you carry your salt or your sea salt if you're able to. You know, if you're able to uh, transport, I don't know if you're going on plane or whatever like that. I never tried that, but... You know, if you can, just try to go ahead and get some sea salt or whatever. And now, you know, absorb that. Because especially when you go to hotels and stuff like that. You never know where you're, you know, who you're sleeping behind. What did they bring with them? So you don't want to have that attached to you. So that even works. So, you know, those are a few things that, you know, will probably help you out. If you're having any kind of negative energy that comes around. It's just like you look that in your face and just, you know, you say your prayers. You say your meditations. Cut a cord. Cut any kind of etheric cord away from things this this really soaking up your energy you know you can like i say you can have the boss you can have family members you can have the friends that you know you can just be be around somebody that's somebody's being a butthole you know and, and it kind of could have ruffled your feathers feathers like that so it could bring anything on so that's my way of you know dealing with it because it's like after i took that soft scrub I felt so much better and I had a lot of energy after that it just felt like you know it rejuvenated me like you know that was my energizer running so um hopefully that will help you guys if you guys are having any kind of problems like that with you know dealing with negative energy and you know having negative thoughts and stuff like that and I gotta make sure you have an open mind to things you know make sure you know if you believe in it it will work so I'm not trying to hold you guys up today so I hope everybody is doing blessed and I will keep you in your prayers and hopefully you do the same thing for me. And I'm listening to Cool Breeze Instrumental. I love this because it has all the different beats. And, you know, it's kind of makes you feel like you're in a lounge and just relaxing. So I'm not trying to hold you guys up today. Like I said, I'm doing a few videos and cutting them down to different subjects and stuff like that. And going ahead and uploading them. And just to trying to decide if I'm going to upload some tonight or some tomorrow. But, you know, whenever you see this is meant for you when you need to see it. So, I hope everybody has a blessed night, and I'll keep you guys in my prayers like I already said, and I hope you do the same thing for me. And please like and subscribe, even hit that notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. And even drop me a line or two, I love the positive feedback, and I'll make sure I re reply to your comment. And even give me a thumbs up if you feel like it resonates with my video. And I will talk to you later. Peace, and be wild. This is another